so congratulations season finale you know season 1 season 2 it was a very <laughs> hit and uh, now it's season finale so tell us something what's going to uh, be in season 3 and what are you going to do um, well it's not season 3 it's season 2 and um, it's just the rest of the episodes of season 2 um, season 2 brings me all the way until i land here in india and um, that's where the story that's where season 2's finale ends is when i when i land here uh, to go on the big boss show and um, season 2 season 1 talks about my childhood and everything that happened as a child or a young adult teenager and all the decisions that i made up until that point and then season 2 goes into you know my family my mother and father both pass away and i get married um <laughs> that all happens all back to back craziness and um it goes through how our decision making went into um coming here to india so there's a there's a lot of different stuff happening in the show okay how many memories did you recollect you know when while shooting or like for the soul things when you were going on um well the whole thing is one big memory because all the stories are real um all the stories that i told they were real stories um and that was extremely important to me that real what happened in my life is actually what we show um of course maybe a setting is different you know we weren't in a restaurant maybe we were in a house or you know whatever it was but the core base of that story is what gets told Okay so you start in your own biopic so how difficult was it to comprehend and how difficult it was to manage and convince yourself or um well i wasn't keen on making a biopic of my life um except when uh, the production house and daniel they will they all came to me and said this is what we want to do and this is how we want to pictureize it and what i liked was the idea that they wanted to get into family life and family dynamic and you know fun quirky little things that happened growing up that <clears throat> you know people don't get to see you know in a in a film that's maybe 2 hours or 2 and a half hours because we were doing a series we could really get into a lot of different details of you know my childhood and certain things that you know maybe we all go through them i don't think that a lot of the situations that happen growing up or even some of the situations as an adult are things that are so off of what happens to everybody you know it's just i've gotten a chance to pictureize it and they're very relatable situations and there's a lot of relatable situations growing up of a immigrant family going to canada and being there and all the different things that they had to go through and live up to or um just normal things that happen except you know we don't always see it because when you see a film it's just it's heightened to the different level so we kept things as as real as possible okay uh, we have already <coughs> seen daniel being at your side in any which ways you know so when you told him that i want to do this biopic or something like that what was his reaction uh, <laughs> well it was the other way around daniel came to me and said i really think that this would be amazing and people are really curious and I had a bunch of people in front of me um <laughs> telling me about, you know, what they wanted to do and my first reaction is I don't think that people are going to find my life interesting and or why would I want to go through that again, you know, and it's very very difficult. So, it was the other way around. Um and they convinced me, <laughs> but it's turned out for the better because I've gotten to make something that I am proud of you know I can't watch season 2 at all. I don't want to go through that again for a third time and watch it actually. Um but I think that it was a is a good decision if I was going to go down this route to do it with Z5 and um the production house and everybody being able to write a story that's real. Okay, so uh, it's season finale and you know you have done with your biopic. So you have also recollected many memories. So uh, how can you describe it to me? Oh from when I from when I came here. Yeah. Oh it's that it's a it's a crazy roller coaster. <laughs> um it's a different type of uh journey compared to one that you know when you grow up and you make certain decisions. Coming here 
has been the most amazing and it's been scary at times and crazy and ridiculous and um, amazing moments happen. I mean, I adopted, you know, Nisha, Daniel and I adopted Nisha from here and I mean, there's so many amazing things that have happened since, you know, I've come. I think more good things than bad. So you have seen the, uh, the industry very closely, or you have dealt with the barriers, and you have also gone with the criticism. What advice would you like to give Nisha if any uh, time she wants to get into Bollywood? First, she'd have to convince me that she'd want to do it, and I wouldn't let an underage child get into the entertainment industry unless she begged and begged and begged me. Um, because I do believe that children should be children unless that is, you know, like there's certain kids out there that that is their path. That's what they were born to do and they're amazing at it. Um, I have no idea what Nisha's path is going to be and what she's going to do or how she's how she's gonna be as a teenager or even as a 10 year old, I have no idea. Um, so I'll only be able to answer that when she gets older, what I do. Right now I'm saying, no, 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 no. I want her to just be a child and enjoy life. Um, you know, so we'll see. Okay. It's not my life, it's her life. She's gonna make her own decisions. Okay, Sunny, so being a mother, what changes have you uh, got after being a parent? Oh, it's absolutely amazing. It's the best um, time period of my life ever. It, you know, every time I wake up and I see my children, it's the best feeling. I mean, this morning Nisha was feeding the boys and it was the most precious thing I've ever seen. Um, and I'm sitting there videotaping. I'm like, everybody back up, let her do her thing. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's really just so amazing to watch um, all three of them. Okay, you know, uh, being an artist, you know, that is very difficult to give the time to your children. So do you remove some time for your children? Or Absolutely. I, both Daniel and I really wanted to be parents for a very long time. So we spend so much time with our kids and I feel like we've been blessed. Even though we're working and we're working very hard, we've done a great job in our time management to make sure that we are there during their waking hours. If they're sleeping or napping, we're trying to finish our work or get as much done as possible. And if I'm on long shooting schedules, um, I bring the boys with me and then Nisha will come on the weekend. So we do spend a really great amount of time with our kids. Okay, besides Bollywood, you know, your perfume brand Bless is also showing high. So how do you stumble upon the idea of launching the perfume brand? Uh, well, I launched uh, last many, it was a few years ago, and it's done very, very well. And uh, last year we launched Star Starstruck, which is my cosmetic line. Uh, we're one years old, so happy birthday to us. Um, <laughs> we're all very excited, it's all done very well. The one thing I tell young people all the time is that this is a country where if you have an idea, you have a dream, I, it's possible you can make your dreams come true here it's one of the most emerging fastest growing industries and markets in the world right now so if there's young people who have a great idea go for it and stop thinking about it because it's it's awesome okay so you're also doing a nebu in malayalam industry so how, how was that experience for you uh, it's been great so far. I've only shot one small schedule and we're going to start shooting again um, very soon. But everything has been amazing. I think that if I can work and make films and just keep working and having fun doing it, then I'm the happiest, <laughs> I'm the happiest woman ever. <laughs> okay, was it difficult for you when we talk about the language? I think that with language, um, with the right training and the right people around you, that you can learn anything you want if you really want to. So, so far it's been okay. <laughs> okay, so any Bollywood upcoming project you would like to share with us? Yeah, my our production house um, is going to be launching its first film, um, shooting it this year, so we're all very excited. Okay, uh, Sunny, lastly, uh, before going, you know, I would also like to ask you any kind of role which you're looking for and you would like love to do it. I think for me, it's all about the content and the story at this point in my life. Um, I've made decisions 
based on various different things and a lot of those decisions didn't work out so great. Um, so for me, it's all about, is it a good story? Does it make sense to me? Because if it doesn't make sense to me, then why am I gonna shoot it? Um, there's so many different stories I read all the time and I think, I just don't get it. I don't understand. Where is the logic in some of this? But you know, that's why I read everything because every so often you read a story and you're like, wow, that's amazing. Um, we should definitely pursue this forward. So it's, it's all about what story is presented in front of me. It's just based on what I like. That's all. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Topic.